Hello friends, welcome to my channel, myself Prag Dambulkar. In this video, we will see one important concept in our programming languages that is statement level control statement. Now see, to make our programs more flexible and more powerful, two things we require. One is to choose one alternative from the available several alternatives. So such statements are called as selective statements. Then we have to repeat execution of some statements. So we call them looping statements or iterative statement. So selection statements and looping statements make our program more flexible and more powerful. And such selection statement and looping statements are called as control statements. Now there was one paper which is published by Bohom and Jacopini in 1966. So by this research paper, they have proved that all the algorithms that can be expressed by flowcharts can be coded in programming language with only two control statements. So what do I mean by this? All algorithms which can be expressed by the flowcharts, for that flowchart, for that algorithm, we can write program code by using these two control statements. One selection statement and another is iterative statement. So for example, see. So look at this flowchart. So here this is a selection statement. So out of these two alternative, we have to choose one. So this is one selection statement and inside that there is another selection statement. So here two alternatives are there, this and this. So out of that we can choose one. So inside this selection statement, this is another one. So that's why it is a nested selection statement. Then here you can see. So this is a looping statement and this is a selection statement. So see two alternatives are there. So out of that we can choose one and this is a looping statement. So any flowchart, any algorithm for which we can draw any flowchart. So such algorithms can be coded by using programming language and by using these two control statements. So see again once uh, terminology that is used that is called like the control structure so see up till now we were using this terminology control statement and now one more terminology is there that is a control structure so what my control structure control statement and all the collection of statements whose execution it controls is called a like control structure so see based example i will give so see uh, here if and else so these are the selection statement. So selection statement is nothing but a control statement. So if and else, these are the control statement. And these statements are controlling these statements, right? So this control statement along with these remaining statements. This combinedly, it is called as a control structure. So this is completely, it is a control structure while these are the control statement and combinedly it is a control structure so control structure is control statement plus collection of statements whose execution it controls that is a control structure now see so just simple examples that we will see so selection statements so already we have seen it provides means of choosing between two or more execution path in a program so when many alternatives are available, so out of that we are choosing one. So such kind of control statements are called like selection statement. So in C and C++ language, we have simple if, if else, nested if, else if ladder, switch statement. So all these are the selection statement. Then iterative statement. So see, when some statements are collection of statements, when we have to execute it for zero time, one time or multiple times so such kind of statements which provide this feature are called as iterative statement so this iterative statement is also called as loop or looping statement simple example for while do while in our c c++ language all are the iterative statement then one more thing is there that is called as the unconditional branching so simple example that I will give go to statement that we use in C language is the example of unconditional branching. So what do we mean by unconditional branching? 
so by unconditional branching statement we transfer control to a specified location in the program so whenever we are transferring control to any other part of the program so what are the statement that support are called as con unconditional branching so as it is unconditional there is no restriction is put on such statement and as there is no restriction over such statement they can make programs very difficult to read and because of that it makes it is highly unreliable and costly to maintain so because of this such kind of unconditional branching statement a simple example or go to statement there can be infinite loop or some part of the program may get skipped and because of that some programming languages they are not supporting this unconditional branching statement or go to statement so simple example java python and ruby they are not supporting this unconditional branching statement while our c language c++ language c sharp they support this unconditional branching statement example is our go to statement so friends i hope you like this video if yes then click on like subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press bell icon so that you will get notification of my next video so stay connected thank you